for? If you pray five minutes a day in tongues, once a week, make it twice a week. Make it three times a week. When you start praying in tongues and it's five minutes, make it ten minutes. Make it fifteen minutes. Make it half an hour. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues a lot. Our world is coming to a crescendo. Many things are about to happen and it will explode starting 2009. I believe that with all my heart. You will see. And we need to pray in tongues. Because we are going to need a sound mind. You're going to be reading things in the newspaper that will cause many hearts to faint. We need to walk in power. Because there will be a lot of lying signs and wonders out there. It's hard to talk about a living Christ and we have no power. If it were only love without power, we have an impotent religion. Just like all the other religions of this world. This is the only one, oh well, there's another one with power. It's called Satanism. I know. I was once in it. And they have power. But greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. I want to pray for you. If you're here right now and you have not been baptized in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues, let me tell you something. This is not optional. You want love, power, and a sound mind? You need to pray in tongues more than ever. More than ever. If you're right now and you're saying, Pastor, I want that. I don't pray in tongues. I'm not even sure if I've been baptized in the Spirit. If that's you, I want you to stand right where you are. Don't need to come in front. You don't need my hands to be laid on you. Because nobody was laying hands on the disciples when they were uh, up there in the room in one accord. The Holy Spirit came and baptized them and they spoke in other tongues. You don't need to come in front. But if you're here right now and you're saying, I want that. Stand right where you are. I'm going to pray for you. And I'm going to believe that before I end, you're going to be praying in tongues. You're going to be speaking in tongues. Come on, we don't have time. If you want to stand, stand. Don't be shy. Because we need this gift. The devil's going to come hard against this gift. But we don't back off. No one is too young to pray in tongues. Even children can pray in tongues. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask Jesus. Jesus is the one that baptizes in the Holy Spirit. Not me. I'm just going to pray. I'm going to ask, the Holy Sp I'm going to ask Jesus to baptize you now in the Holy Spirit. And just like your salvation, it comes by faith. You might feel something. You might not feel anything. It doesn't matter. Just believe. Believe that once I release that word, you will be baptized in the Spirit. And then I want you to do something. I want you to start speaking in tongues. Don't speak in English. Don't speak in Tagalog. Don't speak in Korean, in French, in German. Just And then just do it. Speak it, not in your head. Let it come out of your lips. And don't be shy. The devil is going to make you think you sound stupid. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. And then I'm going to ask all the others to join me. When I pray in tongues, join me. And all of you standing, join me. Speak out in faith. Okay? Don't wait for it. Just make a sound with your mouth. Okay? Any sound. And then let the Holy Spirit, He's going to take over. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask today, baptize your people in the Holy Ghost. Fill them with power now, Lord. Fill them with power that they might have power and love and a sound mind. And I declare, be baptized now in the name of Jesus. Now come on, pray in tongues. Just start speaking tongues. Come on, just let it out of your mouth. Let it out. Don't say it in English. Don't say anything in Tagalog or Korean or French. Just open your mouth. Go. Come on. Don't be shy. You don't have to shout. But let the words come out of your mouth. 
Come on, come on, don't be shy. Just let it out, let it out. Come on, move your mouth, move your mouth. It's not going to move by itself. That's it. Good, good, good. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Rababa Sakaraba Sakara Baba Yara Baba 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 that you can activate any time of day or night. I had one of my dear friends. We were sleeping together one night in a hotel room. We were both asleep. I was dreaming. And all of a sudden, he just burst out in tongues. And he was still asleep. Your spirit can be praying even while you're asleep. Now, many of you here started speaking tongues. Some of you, maybe you were shy or whatever the reason might be. Don't worry about it. When you get home, in the privacy of your room, just come before God and say, Father, I know you baptized me. Now I want to speak in tongues. And then just start. Just start. Just get a bunch of syllables. And you know what? You just start there. Pretty soon, the Holy Spirit's going to start adding syllables. You do that every day, every day. Before you know it, just like any language, you become proficient in it. And pretty soon you can start to worship Him. Say, And it just starts to flow. And the Bible says, like rivers coming out of your belly. I tell you, you do that every day. You will see power begin to rise up in you. You start laying hands on the sick and you'll see things start to happen. And you're going to find it easy to forgive others that have harmed you even if they don't say sorry. And you'll find out you start thinking clearly. Your memory begins to develop. All of a sudden, it's not difficult to forget. It's not difficult to remember because you have a sound mind. Wisdom becomes your portion. Amen? Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for baptizing us. Hallelujah. Praise God.